Muslim brothers in Detroit, Muslim sisters in Detroit, they got a business, have the numbers in there. And what we do is if we want some type of service, then we substitute. If we want to get, for example, um, let's say like school supplies, as opposed to going to Family Dollar, who, what, what, what African American Muslim brother sister in Detroit that sell sell school school supplies that we can go and purchase from, even if we got to pay a little bit more. Okay, okay. Anybody that don't have a car, okay. Listen, we want to catch a cab. Which one of the African American Muslim brothers in in Detroit, the or sisters in Detroit, they got a cab service, and we spend our money with them. So simple. Now here it is, brothers. They're gonna say, "Oh, brother, it's gonna cost for a phone book, brother." You don't, man. You can make a phone book, man. You can get some instruction paper and make a phone book, fold it, print on it, make a phone book. You don't have to have a, a a barcode on it, you know what I'm saying, and go and get it notified, and you know, nah, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta do all that, man. Come on, man. Keep it basic, keep it simple, man. Instruction paper, print on one side, fold it. You know what I'm saying? If you got it folded and you can have some numbers, if we got a whole lot, use the front part. <clears throat> use the inside of their front page and then use other page instruction papers staples staple the end of it and that's your phone book right there pass it out sell them for a dollar matter of fact that's a hustle sell it for a dollar man i'll pay listen i'll pay five dollars for it wallahi i swear by allah i'll pay five dollars for it and listen brothers that know me <laughs> excuse me and brothers that know me brothers that know me personally Brothers, they know how I roll. When I come and I want to buy something, I don't hesitate. Brothers will tell you I don't hesitate. Ask your brothers about me. And I don't mean to brag about that, but I'm just letting you know. That's how I'm cut. If I see a brother, man, I give a brother my last to support my African-American Muslim brothers. I give a brother my last, man. It's a lady that sold. It's a lady that sells books. I'm going to tell you two incidents. There's a lady that sells books. And that I know she sells books. And she um, she told me that a book, she published her book. I said, really? I said, okay. And so um, before, we end, before we actually end the conversation, I had already got on my phone and I had purchased the book from Amazon. Before we ended the conversation, I purchased the book. You understand? Same thing with the brother uh, uh, JD. JD came to my shop before he had the book. The kid before he bought the book out, he told him I'm gonna bring the book out. I said, "When you get it, let me know. I'm gonna purchase the book." He came. He bought the book. He didn't think I was gonna buy the book. I said, "That's the book. How much? Twenty. Here you go. Boom. Just like that. No hesitation, man. I've seen brothers on the street that sell oils." I, I got all I got a lot of oils, man. And a lot I got I got these same connections they got I got connections to the same place. But it don't matter. Hey, what you got, man? Give me that creed of ventures. Even if he charges seven dollars per I I pay seven for it. Even though the initial price is five for the designers, I will pay seven. I will pay. I'm not going to negotiate the price. A seven, I pay seven for it. Until we, as African American Muslims, be like that, it ain't gonna never change. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna never change. It ain't gonna never change. We're gonna still have the same little thing, you know, where we go into the mosque and we ain't got, and we still we we be at the round table saying the same stuff. Well, you know what? Well, we need to get our own business. Well, you fool, you fool. Have you remember? That such and such had a business, that sister had a business, that brother had a business, that brother has had a business, and y'all had y'all was at the round table saying the same thing before they actually got their business. When they got their business, you never reached out to support. Hypocritical, man. Hypocritical, man. You can't tell me that that's not hypocritical. Man, I had a conversation with this guy one day. This is going to make you laugh, man.